Long night here at Veterans Field. The Chatham Anglers fall in 10 innings to the Harwich Mariners, 4-3. to three. Time to reel it in. He's Drew Carter. I'm Max Herz. A night that started honoring Chatham skipper John Schiffner in his 25th and final season with the team that he played for from <laughs> 1974 to 76 in town. The Mariners come away with the victory tonight. Pick it up, 3-1 Chatham in the top of the sixth inning. First of three innings where Harwich loaded the bases. They got a run, but Rodney Hutchison kept them from tying the game. Yeah, Max, no time to break down those first couple of runs. Too much stuff happened in the latest stages of this ball game. Rodney Hutchison Jr. on the bump for Chatham, the first man out of the bullpen. There was a time when we thought there were only going to be two pitchers necessary for the Anglers because Hutchison Jr., no stranger to long relief appearances. Last time out, five full innings of scoreless work. This time in a bit of a jam with the bases full and none down. A fielder's choice brings home a run off the bat of Kobe Vance. Curious decision by the Chatham infield not to come home. Instead, try for the double play. Only get one run at second, but then Hutchison Jr. is great. Gets out of that jam, only allowing the one run and preserving that 3-2 Chatham lead. 3-2 Chatham after six into the top of the eighth inning. Josiah Gray comes in with the bases loaded and one out in place of Adam Wolf. Allows one run, but locks the inning down to keep it tied. Bases loaded jams are the story of this ball game <laughs> for the Chatham Anglers. And JoJo Gray, great, great as well in that jam work. Blowing fastballs by guys, really attacking with the fastballs. But the crazy thing is, Max, the Mariners were catching up to most of them, spraying them off foul, waiting for something that they could turn on and hit out to the outfield. They got to JoJo Gray a little bit, his longest outing of the season by far, nearly 50 pitches for Gray, who's usually a closer in one inning outings. This time, the Mariners get to him a bit, but he's still great, not allowing any runs on his bill. Kobe Vance's RBI single ties the game at three in the top of the eighth with the bases loaded against Gray. But Gray comes back, gets a tap out and a strikeout to end the frame. Stray on the bases loaded and keep the score tied. Bases loaded again against Gray, but before that, a 15-pitch <laughs> battle between him and Antoine Duplantis in the ninth. Pretty cool for JoJo Gray. I was talking to him after the game, and he said, I was just watching Antoine Duplantis from LSU play in the College World Series. JoJo Gray, a Division II player from Lemoyne, one of the last D2 guys standing in the Cape League, comes out and battles with him. 15 pitches. JoJo Gray says, I attacked with my best stuff. He came back with his best stuff. I lose that battle. That's okay. He responds extremely well, ending up not allowing a run to the Mariners in that frame. Less of a battle, more of a war won by <laughs> Antoine Duplantis. 15 straight fastballs from Gray. And guess what? He left the bases loaded again in the top of the ninth. Tenth inning, still 3-3. All the bases loaded jams. Very little comes home on those. Pinch runner Jake McCarthy does it with his feet to score the go-ahead run. Jake McCarthy forces home a run by himself, comes on to pinch run at first base, immediately steals second base, throws off the mark but stays in the infield. Next pitch he steals third base, throw trickles out into left field, and McCarthy comes home to score. And let me tell you something, Max, the biggest surprise for me tonight was how lively that Mariners dugout was. Harwich eliminated from playoff contention a couple of days ago. You were wondering how, how much they were going to care about these games, honestly, down the stretch. But I think the manager, Steve Engler, his personality has really rubbed off, off, rubbed off on these guys, and they really wanted this win tonight. And Jake McCarthy chugging hard around those base pass, just one example of that. 4-3 Harwich into the bottom of the 10th, and of course, Chatham got their chance to tie this ball game. First and second with one down. Josh Stowe is a ground out, moves runners to second and third. Pinch runner relief pitcher Reese Kinnear, the tying run at third, the winning run at second base. But Nick Patton pops out to end the ball game. Of course, another close play, ball hung up in the wind, and the shortstop Max Burt barely made the play. An injury on the infield, the designated hitter comes into the field. Pure weird baseball in the 10th, but the Harwich Mariners come away with the 4-3 victory. These teams meet again Sunday, 5:30 first pitch at White House Field, the sixth and final meeting between these two division rivals. He's Drew Carter, I'm Max Herz. We started the night honoring John Schiffner and ended it late past the 11 o'clock hour in extra innings. We drilled it all in, Chatham goes down 4-3.